Hi, I'm, I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to tell you about the different types of sutures used in ophthalmology. So cataract surgery is the most common surgery in ophthalmology and it has evolved to sutureless but still suturing is an art especially the microsurgical suturing under the microscope and every ophthalmologist needs to master this skill. So today, today's lecture will be on the different types of sutures used in eye surgery. Now here you can see the proline suture. It is a polypropylene non-absorbable. The size used in ophthalmology are 8090 for scleral fixation, 40 for skin, lateral tarsal strip, orbital wound and 1020 for the ptosis surgery. Here you can see the pack. It is a double needle proline suture and it's one of the less common sutures used in ophthalmology. <clears throat> so now here you can see the Y-Krill. It is a polyglactine material. It is absorbable, synthetic. It support wound for two to three weeks and can be used for subcutaneous tissue muscles lids dcr flaps sclera and conjunctiva usual sizes in ir 4050 and 60 and uh, you should also know about the different types of needles used they are tapered cutting reverse cutting and spatulated the tapered for the watertight seal uh, in the conjunctival wound in trap to form the blebs cutting and reverse cutting in aculoplastics and spatulated for suturing the sclera and the tarsus. Now here you can see the 10-0 ethylon. It is a nylon monofilament non-absorbable usually size 10-0 is used for corneal stitching, corneal tear repair, keratoplasty and cataract wounds formation. One of the most common needle. Now the silk Silk is a natural polyfilament braided non-absorbable suture. It is used as a traction suture in the skin wound, in the ptosis surgery, in the lid defects. So usual sizes are 10, 40, 50 in ophthalmology and inflammation is also associated with